Hello again, amen. <laughs> I think I had some trouble with this thing here. I'm not sure what's going on. Amen. It says that I'm on live. I hope I'm on live again. Uh, I bind the enemy, amen, that would try to hinder this broadcast right now. Father, let me see if it's on the laptop here. Amen. Amen. Well, it seems to be working. Amen. I hope it's working. <laughs> amen. If you're out there, please send me a heart or something. Let me know that it's working. Amen. Or well, thumbs up. Amen. I believe it's working. I'm going to trust the Lord that it's working. The camera. Amen. All right. Let me see now. Okay. Amen. Again, God bless everybody for the second time. Amen. And I was just sharing, I'm here at Love Wings Ministry Studios. And by myself, as you see, I'm trying to work the camera and make sure that it's working. I hope it's working. <laughs> Let me see, okay. All right. If it's working, can somebody just send me a heart or a thumbs up? Figure there and let me know, amen, that I'm on, amen. God is good. <laughs> let me continue anyway. As I was sharing before, and I'll say it again. Father, I pray right now for this camera. I pray, Father, for this broadcast, Lord, that, Father, that uh, it'll work fine, Lord, and I'll be able to touch those that are out there, whether they're watching now or later. But again, I want to read Psalm 63, which is, Oh God, you are my God. Er earnestly will I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My body longs for you in a dry and weary land. There it, with, where there is no water. I seek you where? In the sanctuary. And that's why I'm here, in the sanctuary. Thanking God, amen. Because what? Because your love is better than life. And my lips will what? Glorify you. I will, verse four, praise you as long as I live. Amen. As long as I live. And to me, that is my dedication and my heart belongs to him. Amen. And I know that if I belong to him, the father and him belong to me. Amen. And they dwell in me, as the word was saying. And I was sharing that on Sunday, which I had wrote it here somewhere. Let me see where I'm at. Amen. Amen. And Colossians 2 9 says, for, for in him Christ dwells all the fullness of the Godhead. So that means you and me, my brothers and sisters, that when we have an intimate relationship, him and the Father dwells in us. Amen. And that's what I'm talking, sir. I was just listening to the song. I could only imagine what it would be like. So this is what God promises us, amen. And while we're here on this earth, even though I know that I'm going to glory, amen, as I continue to walk in truth and in righteousness, you know, but I can have that peace and that love that God gives us every day right here on this earth, amen, bringing heaven down into earth, amen, because he dwells within us, amen. And that's basically it, that when we realize that and believe it and trust the Word of God, you'll see how things are changing in your life. And I know, like I said, you know, there's seasons in our lives, but the good news is that the season of having a relationship with Him never ends. That season continues even after this body's gone. It still continues. Our soul and our spirit continues to keep moving forward in the love of God because he loves you he loves me and that's what the world needs today I keep singing about those songs I keep working on things in my life and say you know how can I express myself to my brothers and sisters of 
you know, having that that love and that peace that only God can give us when we truly have a relationship with Him. And I'm just grateful. And I come today, again, in spirit and in truth, and, you know, to encourage you and to give my testimony of all the things that God is doing here. Let me just try to fix this a little bit. Amen. All the things that God is doing here as we work in what we have, but we continue to open the doors for all those that, you know, would like to participate with us. Amen. And like I said, I would love to hear some of my brothers and sisters give a testimony of what's happening in their lives. They can come here and sit with me and just share the video with a nice backdrop behind us or some other backdrops we have here at the studio. And we just want to share the gospel and share the love of Christ that makes sure that everybody not only hears the word, but uh, have so, uh, so many witnesses of things that happen in their lives to be able to encourage you, my brother, my sister, and, and those that are out there, that regardless of what, they might turn to this video. That's my prayer, amen, that uh, as we hear, that as they see these videos, that... Um, these broadcasts from here that it would just stir their spirit and tune their ears and remind them how much God loves them and how much God cares and how much God pursues after us and it's a it's a wonderful time regardless of the seasons of things that are happening in our lives it's a wonderful time because you know what when you start thinking of that relationship just like when we think about our loved ones, our wives, or our husbands, or our children, it, it gives us joy. And that's the joy that the world can't take away. And that's the joy I'm talking about, the joy of the Lord. Amen. And just, just, just thanking Him and reminiscing of even th through the situations that we've been through, He still sees us through and He sees you through. And I'm pretty sure that you can testify to that as I can. Amen. And knowing that all things are possible through him that is within us. Oh, hallelujah. I'm waiting for some of you to come on. Amen. If you're listening to me there, please, if you need prayer or, or want to send a comment, amen, please send it. Or just let me know that you're watching. And also, too, as I put it on um, YouTube, amen, uh, please subscribe to our channel. We're trying to get as much people as we can to subscribe to our channel, amen, and, uh, and, uh, and, you know, share the video, amen, if it's, if it's ministered to you in any way or something, please share it with others, that's why we're here, this is why we continue to do this, and, and I'm just grateful, amen, and I want to give a shout out to everybody, uh, out there that knows us in New York, and, Hawaii, every every place that I know, friends of mine, brothers and sisters, and this is what I'm talking about, people we meet, amen, they become a part of your life, you become a part of their life, they encourage you, and we encourage each other, that's how we see the manifestation of God's love, as we encourage one another, build one another up, and help one another, amen, you know, and that's why I'm going to continue to be here doing this here, local ministry studio, and, and talking in the spirit and in the truth, that it is a great thing, it is a new day, and it's a great thing when we know that the Father dwells within us. And when we have a place where we can come and gather with our brothers and sisters and just come into unity and worship God and be there for one another. And that, to me, gives God, uh, you know, a delight in his heart, amen, and, and his big heart, amen. That's my uh, revelation of that, that he enjoys when he sees his children gathered together, loving one another, encouraging one another, and building one another up, amen. Because that's what he's, that's why he sent Jesus. And we, we read that and we know that, but it's something about doing that, amen. Living the word and doing the word. Oh, hallelujah. And I want to pray. Even as I'm here, I want to pray for those that just come into my spirit right now that God has given to me. And I pray for those that might be watching right now, watch this video later, that no matter what, man, rejoice in the Lord. 
rejoice. You know, even as the song is playing behind me, I could only imagine what it would be like. You see, but as we read the word and we understand the word, we know what it's going to be like. But not only that, we got to wait till we die. We can have that right now and know that the peace and the love of God, the peace and the love of God is right here within this body. The Bible says this is the temple and what we put into it, what we put into our body. And that's what I'm saying. This is the body. This belongs to him and he dwells. As I search the scriptures and have more of an intimate relationship with him. I see somebody else came on. Amen. David, David Rivera. Amen. God bless you, David, out in Tampa. Amen. <laughs> so I'm just here, again, in spirit and in truth, sharing the love of God and letting you know that I'm here. Amen. And for those that are in the area, I'm here. Amen. And I just want to encourage and build up and and just say, you know what? You can do it. You see? I know if I can do it, you can do it. Amen. Just keep opening up, man, and open up your heart. And also, most of all, open up this word and get into the word. And it, and you get to know God in a way. And also, you know, I found out something and I want to share is that as I get to know God, I start finding things about myself. Amen. And my desires. Amen. And, 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 and my relationships, not only with God, but with all those that God has put in my life. Amen. And I want to give a shout out and pray for those that I, I want to pray for Reuben. Amen. That's out there over here. He's not too far from me and on his business. And I know he's been had back issues. He was here with us. Amen. And, uh, God put him in my life. And I'm always saying, like I said to everyone that, God puts people in your life. That's your ministry. Amen. And God has entrusted you and I with those individuals that God put on us. So let's continue to pray and to encourage one another. So I pray for my brother Reuben right now. Uh, whatever physical things that he's going through. I know he had a back operation, but it's hip and he's in constant pain still sometimes. And I just pray healing on his body. I pray for Miriam. My niece up in Kissimmee, Florida, amen, and she had so many operations, her hips and her legs. I pray also for Carrie, amen, in Puerto Rico that's going through chemo with, with this cancer, this breast cancer. I bind and loose this cancer. I bind and loose this uh, 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 physical things in their body right now. Father, I pray, Father, and join with those that are watching this video now or watch it later that they join with me and asking you father lord to heal father lord to heal their bodies but also father lord that they continue to surrender their lives to you lord father but i pray in the name of jesus healing peace and love father into their lives right now all those that are sick out there all those that might be going through this coronavirus right now and those that we lost and the family members as I'm always lifting up and that's why I come here in my quiet time and just pray and I said today I wanted to share that with you guys that I'm praying and believing for you I'm praying and believing and standing with you my brothers my sisters and as we start doing that to one another I know that God delights in that Jesus came for that purpose that we would become one as he is one with the Father. And that's not just religion, it's the truth. Amen. And the truth continuously set us free from those emotions, those pains, and those things that we might be going through right now. And that's what I'm trying to say. Just trust in the Lord. You know, trust in God. Trust in his word. I can testify all day to that. And not to say that you go through stuff like I'm always saying, but it's how we go through it. Amen? How we go through it. But remember, even as the song is playing, we can only imagine, but we know that God has prepared a place for all of us. Amen? And it's for eternity, from generation to generation. And that's a good thing, you know, not to say that I'm in a hurry to go to, 
to heaven because I have heaven right now. Amen in my life. I have the presence of God in my life right now. And I'm just doing what he tells all of us to do is to love and to share the gospel, to share the good news that this too, all these things that you might be going through shall pass. It's just seasonal things that we go through, but at the same time, we have an opportunity to uh, increase our faith and grow our faith and really find out who we are, amen, in our relationship with God. Oh, hallelujah. So it's a good day, amen, and it's a Tuesday. I'm here at Love Wings, and I come, and I'm, you know, come, and I was just saying, man, let me get on the air. Let me talk to my brothers and sisters and encourage them. I know some of you might be at work right now, and some of you might be uh, doing whatever, your chores, amen, and just remember that you're not alone. He that is within you is always with you. Amen. When you accept them in your heart, not just a relationship, I mean a religion rather, but a relationship with God, that you open up your heart and say, man, here I am, Lord. Here I am. I thank you, Lord. I thank you for what you've done in my life. I thank you for coming into my life. I thank you for sustaining me and keeping me in your presence, my God. But he also asks this man, seek after those things and you'll see how God will continue to work out all the things in your life as he does in my life. Amen. I say that sincerely, my brothers and sisters. Looking for my father. Okay, that's why I'm here in spirit and in truth. Amen. And I was just praying and I said, man, let me put on the camera. Amen. And, and, and like I said, I work with what I have. And I'm just here working with myself, amen, <laughs> and just sharing with you guys, amen. And God is good, amen, and I just want to remind you that you can do all the things that your dreams that you have, man. As I did, I dreamed about uh, having a studio, here I am. And it's with the desires, the Bible says it gives us the desires of our heart. And I said, I want to continue to be, no matter what obstacles came, I said, I want to continue, Father, to just do what you ask us all to do, to share the, the love, to share your, uh, uh, your goodness uh, in my life and my family, that we can come and share that with all those that we meet. And to, and to be here and have an opportunity even to speak your word because you, you speak through me as you speak through the Holy Ghost that you've given me, the greatest gift of all. And I'm only one person, but there's so many of us out here. And you, my brother and my sister, that God has given us an opportunity to share with our loved ones, with our friends, and our relationship with Him and share it with them. And because I'm always saying life is a relationship. We have relationships with each other and those individuals that God put in your life and in my life, and that's our ministry. I keep saying that because you know what? God orders our path, and those individuals, as I keep continuing to say, is our responsibility to share the love of God with them. Amen. And God expects us to do that. Because he said, what I've given you, give on to others. Amen. And that's the good news. That's the best news that I can give to anyone is to tell them about Jesus. Tell them about where I was at and what he's done in my life. Tell them about all the good things that, that he has bestowed upon my life and all the things that I'm still learning more about him through the word and, and sharing that with others. And, and saying thank you for this is the day that you have made and I will rejoice in it every day. Amen. And know that I walk in peace and in love and power and in the authority and the anointing of God. Which his anointing is him himself. Amen. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, all three, which we call the Trinity that dwells within us as we continue to have a true intimate relationship with God and also too 
it's important that we realize this and I like I've realized that we have an intimate relationship with all those that God put in our path and and be responsible and and, and uh, the children amen to do God's will for as we do God's will which is to love to me God's will has always been love care for those individuals as I love you and then what we do we open up the windows of heaven and blessings come down into our lives amen and that's the, I delight in that alone amen and the riches of his glory I said you know what that's the greatest thing that I want is more of him less of me because I find the more that I have of him the more joy I have the more peace comes inside me and then I said man I got it you know and in my heart uh, my mindset starts coming into God's will which I learned through his word is to share that with everyone that I can and everyone that I meet and and you that are watching me now live and maybe you watch this later I hope that I stirred your spirit and continue to tune your ears and 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 really uh, you know put my life out there that everybody knows amen and share my life and my family as we share our lives with everyone that we meet and let them know you know and say here even as Jesus said he gives us uh, he's uh, he's our, our our refuge that's how we to be to each other also this Love Wings Ministry Studio is a refuge for all those that step through these doors and Love Wings has been that from the beginning that we started, that God ordained, that we're here, is to be a refuge to all those to encourage, to build up, to be a family, a children of the Most High. That is God's heartbeat, amen? That is His heartbeat, amen, that we become one, and Jesus said it, Father, I pray that they become as one as He's praying for us, that they become as one as I am with you, Father. And that I keep saying because that's what to me is all about. That's what it's all about. Amen. It's about love. Amen. Encouragement. Building up. And I'm going to keep preaching on love or sharing the word of love. And because you know what? I'm in love with God. Amen. I'm in love with Jesus. I'm in love with life. Amen. To me, life is more is having him in my life. Amen and that I'm never alone, that I don't feel forsaken, I don't feel lonely, uh, even though I might physically be by myself, but I'm still not alone because I have the, Him within me. And He gives me a joy, you know, through, 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 through anything, amen. So, you see, I don't have time to worry about being lonely or despaired or downcast. Because I know in Him, I find joy. I find peace. Amen. I find direction in my life. And I find most of all a purpose of my life. Because he had, you have a purpose, I have a purpose. While we're here on this earth, God has anointed us. The Bible says that He anoint those that, that receive Him. Amen. And, and to me, the anointing has always been Him. Amen. He comes in us, amen, in our heart, our minds, even our physical look changes, amen, because he that dwells within us. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> but again, I'm going to read that psalm again because I was just reading now, I was in my prayer time, just praying and thanking the Lord, and I'm going to get on the keep on a little bit and worship the Lord and just thank him, amen. Uh, and David wrote this. David wrote this when he was in the desert in Judah. He said, Oh God, you, you are my God. Earnestly would I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My body longs for you in a dry land and weary land where there is no water. I have seen you where? In the sanctuary. Amen. And beheld your power and your glory because your love is better than life. And verse 3, because your love again is better than life. My lips will glorify you. My lips will glorify you. That's it. Amen. 
glorify the Lord. So if you're going through whatever, like I do, man, just glorify the Lord. Praise your way. To me, that is praise. Praising our way through it. And we can make it. Because if I can make it, I know you can, my sister, my brother. And I'm just sharing the gospel to say this is not just a regular book. This is a, a book inspired by God. Amen. And our brothers and sisters before us that had a true relationship with him that God entrusted them to share, to share this, this verse, even David, amen, that wasn't perfect and had situations in his life, but he knew how to touch God because God is a forgiving God. No matter what things that we think that we've done in our lives, God forgives all things. He doesn't look at that or what we think that we're doing for God. He looks at what's inside your heart where your heart's at. Do you really, do you really want to have an intimate relationship with them? Not a religious thing, state of mind, but a real true relationship with God. Because our actions are to speak as the words speak. Even as David said, he thirsts for it. And, and he's out in the desert and he thirsts for, for God. And even said, even though I'm in a dry land where there's no water or nothing, but still, I still thirst for you and hunger for you. And my life is better in you than even these natural things that are around me about this world. And that's what I'm talking about. And even in the midst of that, being in a desert, so to speak, if you're there, man, look, I want to tell you without a shadow that God loves you. God is not going to leave you nor forsake you. He just said, surrender your heart to him. And that's, I'm going to keep saying, I'm going to keep sharing the gospel. Because that's what God asks us to do. Even as David wrote in our brothers and sisters through the scriptures before, that God inspired them so they could be a witness and a testimony for me and for you. And even the words that they spoke and the prayers that they spoke are here. You see what I'm saying? So there's witnesses, there's testimonies in this word that shows about the glory of God, the love of God. But most of all, I want to leave you with this, most of all, the will that God has for your life and mine. But for certain, I can sit here and say here that his will is that we share what he's given to us is so precious, which is the joy and the peace that the world can't understand, but we can understand it once you open up your heart and you have a true relationship with God. Then you love sharing the word. You love building people up. You love opening up yourself. But remember this, that it's the, the manifestation of God himself, Jesus and the Holy Spirit that magnifies out of our lives. And what we speak, it accomplishes what it's set out to do. As the word says, when we're speaking life, you see, we're to speak life into others. Faith into others, hope into others as it comes out of our mouths. But the main thing is that it just no longer just comes out. Yes, we speak it in the air, but it's coming from here, from God's heart. Because we start transforming. And we start transforming not only our heart, our minds. That's why the Bible says that we must be transformed. We must be born again to have that intimate relationship with God. And as we study the Word of God and meditate on it day and night, it becomes natural, just like the air that we breathe. Our thoughts and our, and our vocabulary, you know, and even the words that come out, start coming out that God is speaking through you and He's speaking through me. And that's my definition of, in my understanding and revelation of that, that I share with all those that are that I meet and those that watch me live and those that come here, amen. So I just came, you know, to 
to just say, hey, in spirit and in truth, and to say, hey, I love you guys, and I'm praying. I want to give a shout out to all of you. And just that's what I'm doing today is just saying, man, let us walk in spirit and in truth. And he's looking for you. He's pursuing you and uh, because he loves you. He's pursuing you because he wants to put more into your life. He's pursuing you because he wants you to know that you're not alone. I don't know if anybody feeling that, that you're not alone. He's with you. Amen. To me, he's my father, my brother, my sister. He's everything. And when you start having that intimate relationship, you see that peace comes within us. Oh, hallelujah. That's the truth. Amen. But I just want to pray again one more time. And I hope that this little time that I'm spending with you here at Local Ministry Studios. Again, this is Pastor Benny Ramos and my family and the times for all of us. And us that are here, amen. The few that we are, we're here. We continue to work for it. Give a shout out to Pastor Carlos, amen. Call me Pastor Carlos uh, out in Full Gospel Tabernacle. And all oh, my brothers and sisters, I love you. We're here continuing to do the work, amen. And uh, you know, you know, I've said in our broadcast, well, you know, uh, who we are in our love and our, our our love wins ministry studios. At gmail.com with the R I N S. No, I'm sorry, just Love Wings Ministries at gmail.com. You can contact me, amen. And if it's a prayer request, you can send it to whatever. I keep opening up the door. And we're here on Sundays if you would like to come on a Sunday service, amen. And it's 5801 South US 1. We're here at the uh, at the Storage Depot Giant sign, there's a mall inside. You drive in. Uh, we don't have a sign out by the uh, 90 uh, by US One, but that's you know there's a giant sign that says that. You just drive in, and we're right there, Studio Two, and we're here. And uh, I invite you out, Amen. And those that are out there, uh, pastors or whoever, Amen. Uh, want to get in contact, I would love for you to be here and doing spirit and the truth with me, share your testimony, amen, or what God done in your life, amen, and we can encourage our brothers and sisters through our channel here at uh, Love Wings Ministry Studios, building up, and all those that are doing something for the community, please contact me, I, I would love to have you come and sit in one of our beautiful backgrounds and we can do a, a program, amen, uh, and, and, and share uh, your testimony of what you're doing for the community as that's what we, 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 we're about our father's business in every area here and we can share that with others amen so I just want to thank you today for watching I hope that uh, everything I've said has encouraged you and has reminded you that number one that you're not alone I want to keep saying it you're not alone God is with you and he loves you and he cares everything about you. And he's pursuing you. And no matter where you at, there's no sin that can uh, can stop the love of God in your life. If all you got to do is just surrender it and just confess it. Amen. Simple as that. Confess it. Amen. And 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 and, and ask him to come in, man. And that's what he wants. And that's why I'm here to remind you that. Amen. Because I'm not... You know, like I said, we all fall short, amen, and we just, you know, but the more you get to know him, the more you get to have that intimacy with him, you'll see what I'm saying, the joy that comes, the peace, and you don't feel lonely anymore, you know, God is good, amen, and I just thank God for him being in my life every day, and I'm going to continue to be here doing that, and pray for me also, I can sure use that, and Again, if you can help us anyway, you know where to reach us. Cash app, Love Wings Ministry, dollar sign. Amen. So again, from Pastor Benny here, I love you guys in spirit and in truth. Our doors are open. Let me know. We're here. Amen. And we love you. Pray for every pastor, every church, every temple, every synagogue, all my brothers that are out there. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, Lord. You continue to bless my brothers, my sisters, every temple, every uh, sanctuary. Father, Lord, pour down your spirit of joy, of peace, Father, Lord, upon them right now, Father. 
in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. And I say amen, amen, and amen. God bless you. Amen. God bless you.